Welcome back to Breast of Campus about the idea of living the truth. To explain, once somebody came to Rav Nosen praising a secular atheistic Jew who was known never to speak a lie. And he was known for his honesty and for keeping his word. Rav Nosen said about this person, he may not speak a lie, but he lives a lie. And if a person is living a lie, of what value is it if he tries to keep the truth within a lie? If now the cup is not real, but the ingredients inside the cup are real, there's nothing to contain that reality, that truth. As someone, he can be honest and truthful and everything, but it's within a deeper lie. It's not as valuable. It's not as precious. It may even not have any value. The main thing is that a person is striving to live according to the truth. A person can have many ideals and morals and ethics and everything, but if it's within the wrong cup, the wrong uh, basis, so it's not proper. You can have someone who's totally immersed in idolatry and idol worship, but he has true ethical ideas of what truth is it if now its backbone it's, is not something which is truth. And this is something very important and interesting because you have many Jewish people who seem to be what's called very schleppy, very out of it, very not 100% straight in everything. But in the general picture of these people, they are living within the parameters of truth. Their life is based on the truth, just that they themselves have ups and downs, have things, you know, where sometimes they keep us like, like this, a shirt is sticking out, but also in their morals and actions and behavior and slang. It may not be 100%, but it's within the cup of truth. And because the basis is truth, there is greater hope of getting these people to become better, as opposed to the opposite of someone whose all fundamentals of life is false. And in that, he puts ideolo ideology, which is true values, not, not to speak a lie, not to tell a lie, to be honest, but the basis behind everything is false. So it's very detrimental. There's no value to it because it doesn't lead to anything good in the end, as opposed to the person whose whole hashkafa, his whole perspective in life is the truth, even though the fine details within it, there might be tips of falsehood here and there, but there is hope for such a person to become better. And again, this is what Rav Nosen said, he may not tell a lie, but he's living a lie. It's better to live according to the truth and have a little bit of falsehood here and there. We're not obviously saying that this is the ideal. The ideal is that everything should be the truth. But it's better for a person whose life is based on the truth and inside things are not 100% because there's a chance and hope for this person to become rectified and to become 100% straight and good and honest and upright than the opposite, that a person who is trying to have ethics and morals and everything, but it's within a falsehood existence. Of what value is that truth?